Hello everyone, the theme of the next core update is going to be a fresh coat of paint. And I'm going to give you an example of a fresh coat of paint that is uh, very, very unique and interesting. This is something that some of you may have not been familiar with over the years, but uh, we're going to play Mega Man 1 for a moment here. It's a great original NES game, one of my absolute favorites from 1987. Absolutely hideous cover art. Looks nothing like the... Mega Man that we've grown to love over the years. And this is an incredibly difficult game for newcomers, and you throw a controller into the hand of a, a new novice, they're not getting past the stage. Not the first time. I mean, how many times have you guys and gals tried to get past this insane? and frustrating part. This is supposed to be the first and easiest stage of the game, too. But part of it's like an intimidation factor, I would say. I mean, I, I could get past it nearly every time now, but back in the day, it, it's definitely a little bit overwhelming. But we're going to see that fresh coat of paint here as an example for the theme of the core update. We have this little, well, little known gem that was only on the Mega Drive called Mega Man The Wily Wars. And it's basically an HD reboot remake of the Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 in the vein of Super Mario All-Stars that was on Super Nintendo. And I truly wish they would have done something like this with the Castlevania collection. I mean, we need an HD Castlevania 1 through 3 and 4, etc. They need to have a great Castlevania collection. We need it. They did Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2, and then there's a Mega Man X Legacy Collection coming up. They need to do it with Castlevania. We're going to do a Gutsman stage and do a little bit of a comparison to the NES version of Gutsman stage that I just showed you a minute ago. We got the nice bumped up graphics, the cool music. It's almost like right in between Mega Man 1 on NES and the Mega Man powered up on PSP. Definitely a great game to play while you guys and gals are waiting for the update this Thursday. And I failed already. Anyways, that was a Mega Man Wily Wars for the Mega Drive. Definitely check it out. Now we're going to move on to the true, the true gem of the day here, which is going to be in the core update. And I'm going to give you an example of this before we move on to the actual core update. I passed right past it. We're gonna play this other Capcom gem, Final Fight. It's a great arcade port. Has great gameplay, great graphics, great music. And this is gonna be specifically involved in today's, you know, Thursday's core update. So we'll play this for yeah. a moment here. Then we're gonna throw a fresh coat of paint on it. I mean, how could Capcom go wrong? I mean, Capcom made just a ton of awesome games back in the day. They still make great games nowadays. And one thing uh, both Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis had going for them at the time, they were pretty good at some arcade ports. I mean, a lot of them were really, really good arcade ports. I mean, this is what we had before we had the obvious Neo Geo with Metal Slug and all them awesome arcade, which were straight interpretations of the arcade version. But we're going to move on to what is going to be in the core update. We're going to load the arcade version of Final Fight.
And you remember the music that you heard less than a minute ago in the Super Nintendo version? Check this out. Starts out just like the Super Nintendo music, but then... This sounds very familiar, does it not? Do any of you know what this music's from yet? This is in fact the Sega CD soundtrack. The phenomenal, epic Sega CD soundtrack running with the arcade version of Final Fight on none other than MAME 2003. And I give big personal thanks to GP Star and Big Blue Front End for, uh, Big Blue Front End coded this into MAME 185. And, uh, GP Star took the time and effort and patience to get this coded into MAME 2003. And, uh, he graciously gave me permission to put this in my chord set. And the coding changes are going to be in my chord set henceforth from now on. And you guys and guys are going to be able to play uh, Final Fight with this amazing epic CD soundtrack and I'm going to do a tutorial on Thursday on how to run this on USB host as well as off of USB host but we're going to play this again for a moment here it's just completely awesome playing the Sega CD soundtrack in this arcade version of Final Fight And the other thing that you may or may not have noticed, there's going to be another fresh coat of paint in the update here. We're running this on RetroArch 1.7.0. And of course, you're going to be able to use the XMB thing. Remember doing that for my last video. You're going to be able to go into Settings, Driver, Menu Driver, change it to XMB. Then you're going to want to quit RetroArch. And then uh, we'll just load another game here and go into our RetroArch options. And we have that kick-ass XMB monochrome here. I mean, this is great. It's like PS3, PSP. Big step up from the RetroArch options that we're accustomed to after all this time, but... We're going to play this other shmup game for a minute, then I'm going to close the video out, and you guys could uh, look for the update on Thursday. So I'm going to resume this game. This is a great Irem shmup game. I'm playing it on MAME 2003. And one thing to note about the I Irem games is that several of them have encrypted sound, so they have really goofy sound. As you can hear, a little bit of distortion in the sound here. This is an incredible R-Type style game, and it's made by the same company that made R-Type, Iron. As I mentioned, there's a little bit of issue with the sound due to encryption, but with USB host, you can play the PlayStation 1 version with perfect sound. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll look for the update on Thursday. And again, thanks to GP Star and Big Blue Front End, and of course Mad Monkey and PCM720. The core update will be on Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys and gals.